<laughs> he's, he's, he's in the video. He's in the video. Have you had it before? No, it's first time. Right. Like I say, it's got amino acids as well. And what will I do for me? Help build muscle. Thank you. That's all I need to know. Okay, so we're going to be doing the first one. Yeah. Okay. Tastes like pineapple. It's good. Nice. I didn't bring a boss scoop with me. Still to this day. <laughs> <laughs> so recently with all the stress that I've been dealing with, I um, had two days of high stress and my weight was up like a kilo and my gut was like watery, like it looked like a lot of water retention and cellulite just went straight here in two days time and I was like, it makes you feel like upset because you're like, I haven't eaten bad and why am I, and then or you feel like all your progress has gone down the drain, but genetically it's just me where I am. How do you deal with that? Well, I didn't deal with it very well yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I started a new diet plan, just to get on track with my eating and know that 100% I'm doing the right thing, so then all I know is that it is stress and that I can't do anything about it. Whereas when I'm not on a diet plan, I'm having this, I'm having that. Still low calories, but like my body reacts to different things, if that makes sense. So if I have a lot of fruit for the day, that's more sugar. And though it's in my calorie control, it's still my body responds differently to it. So um, that's why, why I'm not really all for, um, what do you call it? If it fits your macros. Everyone's like, oh, it doesn't matter if it fits your macros, you know. But your body will hold on to water in different places. And if you've got high sodium, the wrong kind of sodium, like it's, I don't know. There are also micros. That's right, yeah. You can't just consider macros if you don't consider the micros. Micros being, for example? Hey. For example? For example, are you getting adequate levels of vitamin D, vitamin C, vitamin K? But that's advanced. Well, if you eat the appropriate foods, you don't have to know the finite details. You need to eat the appropriate foods that are going to give you the micronutrients to perform at your best. All good and well having adequate uh, carbohydrates, protein and fats, but if you don't get the appropriate vitamins and the micronutrients, which is what we're talking about, then your body's going to feel like shit. The first tip is never to use this machine. <laughs> I think the first this. tip should be, in all seriousness, Jamie, is to see how your body responds to food. So if you're having, I don't know, you've just brought in sweet potato into your diet, you've done like a week or two weeks on it, and you're holding more water than you normally hold, or you can feel upset in the tummy, remove anything that's gonna cause inflammation or make you feel uncomfortable because your body's not reacting in a good way to it. So that's how I cleaned up my diet. Step one, listen to your body. Step two, incorporate a wide variety of foods so you're not so restricted, because if you're restricted, then you're gonna be missing out on the micronutrients that just mentioned. But as long as you pretty well eat red meat, greens, you're gonna be pretty right. Most of those things have everything you need in. So I've started with the single arm dumbbell arm press, and then I supposed that with the single arm pull down row. So really getting that lat engagement at the bottom. Um, I like to do new lateral exercises first sometimes because you'll notice when you're using machinery or doing any kind of other exercise that you might have imbalances. So this allows me to at least work one side at a time and getting equal the amount of um, work done instead of like one taking 
more, I guess, weight than the other. So, um, yeah, it's a good way to correct imbalances before you get to the heavy stuff. So, when I think about an Arnold press, I switch on my core to stabilize, and when I push, I try, although it's sometimes it's heavy, I try and push all the way through without like lifting my lap too much. I want to stay like pretty level here. So, I think about pushing up to the sky and extending through, and then when it comes to the pull down, instead of just pulling back and keeping your shoulder high, try and think about pulling low next down to your side. So, obviously, your lat, your lower lat is here, so you want to pull towards where you're trying to work basically. So, coming low instead of coming kind of high. This is the shoulder press and with this movement I'm aiming for lower reps because I want to build my strength. Um, a biggest tip that I have when it comes to pressing is being able to put the weight in the palm of your hands instead of in the middle of your hands. So almost like putting it out on an angle which actually is a strong point of your hand which is going to help push the weight up as well as using your legs as a drive. So putting your legs right back and then pushing through your legs as you push the weight up. So that always helps me pick up the heavy weights. So the next movement that I did was underhand chin ups. So a lot of people use their biceps for this movement um, and that's very easy to do but I make sure that I use my back. So I kind of relax my biceps almost and focus on pulling through my lats. So elbows go into my side and I squeeze as I lift up. Uh, I, I like to do this as a back movement because it adds thickness to your back, giving you a nice V shape. So the second last exercises that I'll be doing today is the seat tear the cable press. So I'm using a D handle to do this. And basically I just sit up straight and push through to the top of the movement, straightening out my arms and making sure that I'm not engaging my traps. And then I'll superset that with a cable rope pull. So this is using my rear delt. And I kind of imagine myself pulling through, opening up into a box, which helps me kind of guide to where I need to be, if that makes sense, if you imagine you had a square box. My last movements were the lat pull down and the straight arm pulls. My biggest tip for the lat pull down is to bring your elbows into your sides and squeeze. And with straight arm pulls, you want to have straight arms instead of like a bent arm. But you don't, at the same time, you don't want to be working your triceps, so make sure that you're engaging your lats as well. Thanks for coming along and checking out my training and watching what I do. I always love showing you guys different ways of doing things and giving you the best tips that I have. In regards to my next session, I'd love to hear from you and find out what you guys want to see. So drop a comment. I always love to give, give the viewers or give the world as much as I can of me. So, so drop a comment. Thanks for watching today and I'll catch you guys really soon. Can't see it. Can't, can you see? Got a mad rear delt. You want to grow one? Just one. Yeah. <laughs> it was good. I don't know where to go from here. <laughs>